Hi everyone, welcome back. In my next project, I'm interested in looking at text analytics and I'll be exploring wine description given out by sommeliers during blind tasting. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create binary or dummy variables from text containing specific words using R and Power BI. So I'd like to show you guys how the end state looks like. So let's drill right in. First off, the data set is downloaded from Kaggle's site and it consists of wine description that sommeliers give during a blind tasting and it also has information about price, points and region info. Um, so what I like to do here is to create dummy variables based on presence or absence of certain words in wine description. Here are some examples to show you. So basically I'll be creating different variables representing different flavors of the wine. So for example, chalk here will have the words chocolate or cocoa in the description. Berry will have berry, blackberry, cherry or strawberry. Spice will have cinnamon, anise or spice and so on. If we look at the description of wine A, there's the blackberry and chocolate words in there. So this means it will show um, true or one in both chocolate and berry columns, but false or zero in the other columns. For wine B, there's blackberries, cherries, cocoa and anise words in the description. So this means um, it will show true or one in the chocolate column, berry and spice columns, but false or zero in coffee and citrus. For wine C, because it only has the word lemon in there, that will trigger a true or one in a citrus column, but false or zero in the others. The first method I'm going to show is using Power BI. I'll be using the contain string dax function, which takes two arguments, within text and fine text. Within text is where you want to look at, and fine text is the string that you're interested in. So for example, for the chalk variable, you'll be looking in the description field for the word chocolate or, so this is or operator, or the mocha word. If either one of them or both of them are present, it will result in true. If none of them are present, it will be false. Here's the link to the contain string documentation page on Microsoft. Please have a look if you want to understand more about it. Let's take a look at the Power BI worksheet. So here I have two data sets that I've downloaded from Kaggle, uploaded here. Basically, you will click on get data and then choose CSV to upload your data. Um, as you can see here, the original data set has the column country all the way down. And that's the description column that we're interested in, all the way down to winery column. So that's the name of the winery. Uh, beyond that, so here are basically all the binary columns, variables that I've created based on different flavors. So here's an example of the berry variable. Uh, it contains all the fruits that has um, a berryish flavor in it. For example, strawberry, blackberry, blueberry, cranberry, and raspberry. And they're all separated by the O operator. Now we look at the citrus flavor variable. The expression will yield the result true whenever it sees the word citrus or orange or lemon or grapefruit or acid or tangerine or a lime. So anything that indicates a citrusy flavor. Next, I want to take you guys through a summary page of all the 12 flavor variables that I've created. Here you can see almost 40% has berry flavor or citrus flavor in it. Almost a quarter has spice or stone fruit flavors. Coffee, mint, flower, and melon, they're all on the lower end. Um, and here you can see the counts in each true and false um, categories, and this is how the percentages are calculated from. I'm not going to show you how I created the measures, but you can definitely check it out in the worksheet underneath the video. Now that you have all your 12 variables set up, if you'd like to export this into Excel, you can do so by right-clicking here, and then copy table and paste it on Excel sheet or you could install some sort of Power BI helper and that's something you can find out through uh, Google.